So before going to 3D code, um, just a heads up. Um, the whole point of um, this was so I ha have this quick and dirty uh, UV map. Uh, and I started to paint it on it and later probably I'll do a better UV map uh, so something like this uh, imagine and ha 3D Go allows you to bake uh, the painting from that object using another UV in the baking process uh, the only condition uh, is that well it's the same object but it gotta have the, the same point order so that's why I have all these UVs in this single object because even if I save a version that has only one UV I know the object is the same and the point order is the same okay so but how do did I gathered all these UVs in this single object when I shown you that to make UV in using to uh, unweld everything and merge uh, and this and this operation changes the point order so how did I manage to uh, gather all this UVs in a single object well the answer is um, imagine that I come here I do this one I merge everything so now how do I pick this UV and put it here uh, so I, I use the Niti Sara's copy and paste UV uh, plugin so come here copy paste okay and just like that fast and easy I pass this UV info to there and this point this point uh, order it's different so here it's 19 and here it's 3 okay so the point order is different the condition for this plugin to work is that the shape is exactly the same so but but you can do that with the uh, recnator and background to morph okay so it's it's okay uh, that's how I gathered all these UVs in a single object so going to 3d code um, I'm going to use uh, I already took two versions with a single UV so from this object so I have shells UV and unwrap UV. Shells is that quick and dirty, so I'm going to load that one. And just to show that the UV works, okay, you can paint seamlessly, okay, because uh, 3D Coat uh, handles, sorry, 3D Coat handles uh, seems quite well. With no problem. So imagine that I already have uh, painted uh, my object the way I want it, and now I want to extract the, um, the textures from the micro vertices. Uh, yeah, I'll use texture baking tool for that. Okay, so I'll leave this field empty. Um, I'll use this size. I'll use create padding create padding is what is going to guarantee that I have a UV border around the seams that won't uh, make them show up and I just want to save not right now the color map so bake from shells okay uh, smooth the object and hit OK mm -mm -mm. so right now I'm baking the texture using this exactly UV so if I come here and I open sh up shells okay I have from shells UV shells UV and there you go okay seamless uh, seamless um, texture applied with this UV okay here you can see the padding around the shells okay now I want this exactly painting in a texture using not this UV okay but 
this UV and for that just do the, I do the same thing but here uh, where is nothing I'm gonna going to input the unwrap UV object which has this u this UV okay which is different so just give it a different name bake from unwrap and hit OK so now I have the same painting information in a different UV okay so I can start with that quick and dirty and end up with a more um, thought a more thorough UV which is not the case but let's pretend and the painting information won't be lost and will be will bake really well to a different UV uh, just um, just a, a note that I can do uh, that UV I did before I can do in 3D codes fairly easy um, here goes why how uh, so okay so I have this guy I'm gonna delete all this UVs okay so doesn't have any UV but the point order is the same okay that's the important thing since it's the same object uh, point order is going to be the same but since I'm going to unweld and merge I'm going to make a copy in a different layer so I can unweld make a new UV merge okay and now the point order is different but I can copy UV paste UV and I can delete this object with different point order and stick with this okay so now I'm going to do the UV in 3D code okay and the 3D code I'm going to keep the clusters the reason I uh, unwelded the polygons in Lightwave before bringing it to 3D code is so it assumes that um, in the UV space everything is separate but notice uh, the problems in the UV just like it is now okay this is not this is not good but basically all that work I had in Lightwave before it's simply easy as this here in 3D code why because in 3D code the unwrap is done using uh, a subdivision deformation okay not like using PLG plugin I can pack okay so oh, my quick and dirty map is already done so really fast I just need to apply UV set okay and now I can go to paint and I can paint it using that new UV I just made here in 3D code really fast okay and later again since I kept the point order I can again texture baking tool unwrap make from unwrap 3D code UV bake it so this UV was uh, shredded apart in Lightwave but it was um, unwrapped and flattened here in 3D code and now again I can load the image and with it will fit really nice okay with this specific UV okay just like this okay I hope uh, this video helped you to understand better how you can uh, dig into paint painting uh, faster and how you can unwrap subdivided uh, objects better